Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Film Files, where we dive deep into the fascinating stories behind your favorite films. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the backstory and conception of the visually stunning and unique film, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. So sit back, relax, and let's take a journey back in time to the world of tomorrow. For those unfamiliar with the film, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow is a 2004 science fiction adventure film directed by Carrie Conran. But what makes this movie truly stand out is its unique visual style, which combines live action footage with digitally created backgrounds and effects. Set in an alternate 1939, the film follows the daring pilot Sky Captain Joe Sullivan, played by Jude Law, and the tenacious reporter Polly Perkins, portrayed by Gwyneth Paltrow as they try to uncover the mystery behind a series of bizarre events. The world is under attack by giant robots, and famous scientists are being kidnapped, leaving everyone on edge. As they investigate, they discover that the mastermind behind these attacks is the enigmatic Dr. Totenkopf, a reclusive genius bent on creating a new world by destroying the existing one. Along the way, they are joined by Angelina Jolie's character, Frankie Cook, the commander of an all-female amphibious squadron, and Dex Dearborn, a brilliant inventor played by Giovanni Ribisi. Together, this unlikely team must navigate a series of thrilling adventures, from dogfights in the sky to battles with colossal machines, as they race against time to stop Dr. Totenkopf's nefarious plan and save the world from destruction. Now let's dive into the film's conception. Kerry Conran, the director, had a passion for classic science fiction and adventure stories from the 1930s and 40s. He was particularly influenced by the works of comic book artist Alex Raymond, who created the legendary character Flash Gordon. Conran wanted to create a film that paid homage to these classic stories, but with a modern twist. The idea for Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow began to take shape in the early 1990s, when Conran was working as a freelance graphic artist. Using his self-taught skills in computer graphics, he created a short teaser for the film on his home computer, which took him four years to complete. This teaser caught the eye of producer John Avnet, who was impressed by Conran's unique vision and decided to help him bring it to the big screen. Avnet recognized that Conran's blend of live action and digital effects was groundbreaking, and he believed it could change the way films were made. Fun Fact Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow was one of the first major films to be shot entirely against a green screen, with the actors performing in front of a blank canvas. The elaborate sets, props, and even some characters were all digitally created in post-production, allowing Conran to fully realize his imaginative world without the constraints of a traditional film set. This innovative approach to filmmaking garnered a lot of attention in Hollywood, and the film's unique aesthetic helped it stand out from other sci-fi films of the era. Although the film didn't perform as well as hoped at the box office, it has since gained a cult following and is considered a pioneering work in the realm of digital filmmaking. So let's talk a little about the cast. First up, let's talk about Jude Law, who played the dashing and heroic Sky Captain Joe Sullivan. Did you know that Jude Law was actually a co-producer on the film? Law was so passionate about the project that he not only starred in it, but also helped bring it to life behind the scenes. Now let's move on to Gwyneth Paltrow, who portrayed the intrepid reporter Polly Perkins. Paltrow found the experience of acting in front of a green screen to be a unique challenge. In an interview, she mentioned that it required a great deal of imagination, as there were no physical sets or props to interact with. She even compared it to being a kid again and playing make-believe in her backyard. Speaking of Paltrow, there's an interesting story about her first day on set. Due to a scheduling conflict, she had to film her first scene with Jude Law before they had even met in person. The two actors improvised their initial interaction, which helped create a natural chemistry between their characters that would carry throughout the film. As for Angelina Jolie, who played the fearless Frankie Cook, she was actually pregnant during the filming of Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. The production team had to make some adjustments to her character's costume to accommodate her pregnancy and her scenes were carefully planned to ensure her safety on set. Another fun fact about the cast involves Giovanni Ribisi, who played the brilliant inventor Dex Dearborn. 
Rabisi has mentioned in interviews that his character was inspired by real-life inventors like Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. He even studied their mannerisms and speaking patterns to better portray Dex's eccentric genius. I quite enjoyed Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. For sure, the digital technology is a bit dated by the standards of today. I am no big fan of the early HD cinema look. But I still feel it is a visually amazing movie, and the digital effects are used to create a fascinating world. Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow has a lot more soul than many of the CGI-filled blockbusters produced today, although it is by no means a perfect movie. Indeed, a pioneering work of digital cinema that did not reach as large of an audience as it deserved. That's all for this episode of The Film Files. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about the making of Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, and the cast that brought this incredible world to life. Don't forget to tune in next time as we continue to explore the stories behind your favorite films and films you never heard of. Until then, happy movie watching.